What is up guys, my name is Javier and today we're in the studio and we have a beautiful model today. She's amazing, she comes from all over the world. I want to introduce to you our Nike shoe. Now in today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Now, as far as the models that we use, sometimes you can use one model and have like one or two lights or three lights. What people don't realize is that product photography, even though you don't have a model, you just have an actual product. Sometimes it gets so complex. I've seen product shoots that have gone on with 15 different lights. So it gets really intense. It all depends on the angles you wanna get, the actual look, because remember you gotta make the product come to life. With an actual live model, like a person, the expressions, the poses, that would actually make them come to life. But you're talking about a product, which is just still, it doesn't do anything. You have to make that look exciting. So how do you do that? With lighting. And we're gonna show you how to do it in a studio with minimal lighting. Not 15 lights, but maybe four, five, maybe six lights and a lot of diffusers. So check this out. So right now, what I'm setting up is the light that we're gonna have hitting the background. So this right here, is an actual Paul C. Buff Alien B that I'm gonna be using. You can use any light, you can use whatever you have at hand. The main focus of this oh, is to... Camera died. <sighs> what is up with you and the freaking <laughs> batteries, bro? The main thing is that you should get anything that's a, a cone shape that you have a grid on it. So right now I'm using a 30 degree grid, which 30 degree means the size of the circles. The, the smaller the number, like a 15 or a 20, the thinner and smaller, so the more of a focus light you're gonna get. The wider, the wider the spread. So think about it like this. If you actually have your light and it's actually emitting light through here, it's gonna come all the way out. By putting a grid in front of it, what you're doing is now narrowing the light. Now you're gonna get more intensity with the light, but you're narrowing the light, so it's more, almost gonna be like a spotlight. So when I actually have the light hitting here, instead of this going all over and making this completely yellow, it's going to almost like focus. So then this is gonna be yellow and then it's gonna be a gradation all the way to the outside. It's almost like a vignette. So now what Julian is doing, He's actually filling in some paper inside one of the little pockets because you wanted to make it seem like it's a little bit bigger than what it is. This fishing line that we have here is what's gonna help us hold up our shoe. This is easy to take it away in Photoshop later. Every time you see like food commercials or things with like pizza and like things flying all over the place or even cereal or anything like that, it's all shot with strings and then later on they just Photoshop the strings out of it. And we got these set up how we want them and it's pretty much in place exactly how we want the shoe. So this is all held up by strings, and now we have the shoe exactly where we want. Now we just have to worry about lighting it. See, how is it that we wanna light it? We already know that we wanna have this spotlight back here, and it's gonna, we're gonna aim this, so when we're shooting the actual shoe, or the sneaker or your product, we're gonna have this light be right in the center, so when we're actually shooting it from this direction, that circle is gonna be there to actually highlight the shoe. So right now, when you have the product, against the wall, it's gonna look just bland, just a yellow wall. But now when I add my light, and now I focus it to where I want, so then now you could actually see it gives it a better presence and actually makes the shoe a lot more in the center and it makes gives that wow factor. And that's basically just putting a light in the back aiming at your background. Yeah. <laughs> what? We're vlogging too. <laughs> Hi everybody. This is James from Undersun. A lot of links are gonna be on the bottom. We have a lot of videos that we got coming up with all the exercise bands. He is the master, the king of the resistance bands. So, <laughs> the main authority of the resistance bands. So if you wanna know what you're doing, forget about those booty bands and all the little stretchy stuff. Forget about the crappy stuff that you see out there. This is the real deal. He has not used any other workout equipment, no dumbbells, no weights, nothing. Just bands and that's it that's a good plug, a good plug. <laughs> thank you he pays me a lot for that this was, this, this was a true accidental cameo this wasn't planned this is me just seeing what's up <laughs> all right i'm out <laughs> all 
Uh, the main thing you want to keep in mind is that everything that I'm doing is all with grids or anything on my softbox to modify how narrow I want my beam of light. If I use like these big lights anywhere around here and I don't have any grids on there, it's just lighting the entire thing. I want like almost like flashlights in all these different areas. So that's why all these grids are very necessary for all the shots. So I know that that light is gonna be hitting the background. I know that this light is gonna give me that nice little edge light over here. I want that light to highlight this little area over here, but I don't want it to spill. Now I'm gonna have another light hitting this side and almost focusing on the Jordan sign. Now for that, I'm gonna use a snoop. I wanna be able to highlight that Jordan sign. So the easiest way of doing that is a snoot. So this is pretty much, it's narrowing even more. The way that we did in the background, we narrowed with the grid. With this one, I'm narrowing so much and I'm also putting a grid on there. So it's literally making a spotlight right in there because I don't want it to spill around everywhere else in my shot. Now, if your snoot is not small enough, you can pretty much do it with a piece of paper. Now, uh, there's actual sheets that they sell that's a lot better for this, but right now I don't have it. So all I'm gonna do is almost like a cone right in that little center there. So if you notice, I'm creating that little cone and that's literally what I wanna light up. So this is pretty intense as far as how many lights we're using. We have a total of eight lights in this shoot. Now I'm gonna walk you through the actual setup and show you what each light is gonna be doing. Now, you already could tell that this light in the background is going to be aiming there. It's almost giving you that circle and that gradient effect. Once we're shooting here, it's gonna, you're gonna show it on the actual shoe. This light back here, we're using this to almost light up this section by itself. This light over here is to light up this section right here. We also have a light up top over here. Now this is going to light up the top of the actual shoe, plus is gonna give you on the laces a little bit. These are all pretty much edge lights or kicker lights or rim lights. So that's what we're doing with those lights. This one over here is going to be aimed at this side of the shoe. So it's almost gonna be showing you on the background over here when it lights up, it's gonna give you that edge lighting. I'm still gonna get a little shadow over here, but that's the whole purpose. I want to actually light up different sections of the shoe to accent as much as possible. Now we have our snoot that we kind of rigged up over here to make it even a lot more thinner. So it's gonna light up that section right there of the Air Jordan. That's gonna be a spotlight directly on the Air Jordan. Now we have our other light. So this one is going to light up this section of the shoe. Now I'm gonna turn it off. And now our main light is going to be our other pro photo up here. And this is going to light up this section of the shoe. It's fine if you actually want to shoot it and be able to look at it through your viewfinder, but when you're doing product photography like this, you want to be tack sharp focused on everything. So you don't want to be moving around. You want to have it, your camera set up on a tripod. You want to be able to look at everything through a big screen. So right now I'm using Tether Tools cable attached to my computer and using Capture One as my software to view my shots. So. Once I take a shot, I'm gonna be able to see it on my screen over here. If you have a big iMac or a big monitor, you could actually see it better, but it's gonna be easier. So when you're actually looking at your shots, you could zoom in and see exactly where you are in focus. And you can look at every little detail that you're shooting, as opposed to seeing it with a small little three inch monitor from your camera, it's better to see it on your computer. Now, we're gonna show you step-by-step step of how each light looks on the screen and what each light is gonna represent. So I hope you liked that video that we did with our product shot. Now, again, you could do this with any product that you have. We decided to do these with these Travis Scott's Jordans that just came out. Now, you could do it again, like I said, with any other products. Just make sure that you always use different rim lightings to accent your shot. You could, again, do this simply with one light in the background and one main light, but how fun is that? We wanted to get nice little edge lighting everywhere, show the details of the shoe, show all the different little parts of it. 
There are certain times that the shoe is gonna be a little bit dirty here and there. You're gonna get like a little fuzz here and there, but don't worry about that. You could always fix that in post. But the main thing is you wanna be able to spotlight every little thing, detail it as much as you can from the shoe and make it look interesting. You don't wanna just have one light in the background and one light in the front and call it a day. That's just cheating pretty much. Make sure you do a lot more to the shot to make it look sexy, make it look interesting, make it give that wow factor. So guys, if you like this, by all means, comment, let us know what you thought. Subscribe to our channel if you like it. Hit the like button if you actually thought this was cool. And if you have any questions, any comments, concerns, please let, them know, let us know in the comments and we'll be sure to write back to you as soon as you can. Thank you.